Hello, you are welcome to my YouTube channel, Geo Insights. Um, the channel is quite new, and um, I started to do this uh, based on request from my students. So the idea of the channel is to simplify geoscience concepts for everyone, especially undergraduate uh, students. Here we are going to explore several wonders of the earth, from plate tectonics to rock formations using easy to understand videos um, and it, it's quite um, recommended for students uh, educators and people that just want to learn about um, geoscience um, as, a, as a as a field or as a subject so i enjoy you to subscribe for clear concise and engaging geoscience explanations uh, click the subscribe button so you get notified every time I post a new video. Uh, our video today is going to be about how to download topography and um, gravity boogie collected data from the Topex website. Uh, the address is topex.u csd.edu and it's a website designed by Smith, Sandwell and several other authors so remember to give them the credit whenever you download this data and you use them you can copy the DOI number here and uh, use it uh, to input the reference into your reference manager Zotero and the likes so today we're going to walk around uh, the Nyonga Granite province in Nigeria where you have granitoid of um, uh, late Paleozoic to Paleogene age that intruded into uh, older rocks of uh, Migmatite Nice complex and by virtue of their extensive nature they extend over 1500 kilometers from well, as far as the Sahara into Nigeria reaching some places in Cameroon. So, we are going to define a grid of 11.5 at the top, nothing. We use um, the decimal um, coordinates. We don't use um, longitude and latitude in degrees and minutes here. And then the base, we'll call that um, 8.5 as well, because I have an, a rough idea of uh, the, the location of these uh, Young gran granites to the west we use 8.5 and to the east we use 10.5 so the first thing to do is to download the gravity data you click on uh, the topography data pardon me you click on topography and then you click get data and then you have um, the data downloaded in XYZ grid uh, the Z being the altitude, the uh, height. Uh, so, in the first column you have the X, in the middle column you have the Y, and in the last column you have the height. Just for quality control purpose, you check the first data that you have here. is 1535, and you can scroll down to the base to see what you have at the base. I have 137. So, click into the window. Select all, Control A, Control C, and then open Notepad, Notepad, okay, and then you Control V, paste inside. Again, at the base you have 137, at the top you have 535. So save us, and you find an appropriate location location for it. I'm going to put it in the desktop here. I'll create a folder for it. Call it demo. Um, yeah. And within the folder, I'm going to give a name that will remember. Younger Granite Topography. And I'll save. Again, to get uh, the gravity data, you take a step back. The coordinates are already defined, so you click on gravity this time around, and you click on get data. 
and you see that this is in milligal from 7.8 at the beginning to the end to minus 5.70 which is negative okay anomaly okay you select all control c again you can reuse um, the same uh, notepad highlight and delete control v quality control at the end you have uh, 5.7 and at the beginning you have 7.8 and then you go to file but this time around you use savers in order not to overprint uh, the previous data you say um, this time around is gravity and you say save and uh, that is it remember to give credit to whom it is due so you copy this and then notepad again open a new one the references and then save us in the same folder uh, double double and then um, gravity younger granite and save and that is it so once again the website address is stopx and uh, you have a grid of um, divine from north to south east to west uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to download the same data from Gepco which is another website where you can get um, uh, metimetry and topographic data Thank you and remember to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I upload new videos. Bye.